Good day everyone and uh, welcome po sa ating video ngayon. So ang ating gagawin po ngayon is uh, sasagot po tayo ng limang mga katanungan about sa ating concepts in structural steel design. So let us start. So meron po tayo dito sa ating screen ang limang katanungan about sa ating concepts in structural steel design. So iisa-isahin po natin yan, sasagutin lahat, uh, step by step process and then I will explain the process kung paano kinuha yung mga sagot. So, let's start po sa ating problem 2-1. Okay. A column in the upper story of a building is subjected to a compressive load from the following sources. So, ito pong following sources natin. Ito po yung ating mga given. So, ating dead load is equal to 30.8 kips. The occupancy live load is equal to 1.7 kips. Our roof live load is 18.7 kips. And our snow load is equal to 19.8 7 kips. So, para po mamaya pag solve natin sa ating solution para mas madali, isusulat po natin ulit yung ating mga given. So, nakikita po dito yung given. Uh, yung dead load, occupancy live load, yung roof live load at saka snow load. So, let's start answering or showing our solution. So, sa ating mga problems po, sa 2-1 hanggang 2-5, meron po silang mga situation. So, sa ating 2-1, meron po tayong limang Situation. So, unahin po natin yung letter A. So, if load and resistance factor design is used, determine the factored load or the required strength to be used in the design of the column. So, which AI AC load combination controls? So, para po mahanap yung uh, which AI AC load combination controls, iisa-isahin po natin, hanapin yung mga combination based sa ating given. So, let's start po sa combination 1. So, ang formula ng ating combination 1 is given by the AISC. So, is equal to 1.4 times D. So, ating D po is our dead load which uh, given by our problem earlier. So, ang D po natin is equal to 30.8 kips. So, after nyan, uh, isasubstitute na po natin yung uh, dead load sa ating formula. So, 1.4 multiplied to 30.8 which is our dead load, so it is equal to 43.12 kips. So, yan po yung ating combination 1. So, proceed po tayo sa ating combination 2. Yeah, at ito po yung uh, kanilang formula. So, given pa din ang AISC, itong lahat ng formula. So, 1.2D or dead load plus 1.6L or our live load plus 0.5S or our snow load. So, Ang gagawin po natin is substitute lang po natin lahat. Andito po sila yung 30.8 is equal to our dead load substituted, our 1.7 or our live load, and then 19.7 our snow load. So after substitute, i-add po natin. And we will get 49.53 kips. That's uh, the value of our combination 2. And then we will proceed sa combination 3. So ang formula andito pa din. So 1.2D plus 1.6S, plus 0.5L. So, ganun pa rin, i-substitute pa din natin yung mga value ng ating given. So, 30.8, our dead load, 19.7, our snow load, and 1.7, our snow load. So, ating combination 3 value is equal to 69.33 kips. So, uh, to answer the question, which AISC load combination controls? So, therefore, our combination 3 controls. So, bakit combination 3? So, ang ating combination 3, yung controls because ito po yung ating pinakamataas na value. So, that's why uh, siya po yung, uh, it is the combination that controls. So, let us proceed. So, to letter B. So, ating situation number 2 or letter B. So, what is the required design strength of the column? So, ang tanong is, ano ba yung required na design para sa strength ng ating column? So, since our P sub U or our factored load is um, less than or equal to our design strength, so therefore, the required design strength of the column is uh, 69.3 kips. So, andito po yung combination 3. So, kaya po nakuha natin yung design strength is andito po sa ating combination 3 at ito po yung highest. So, let us proceed to our situation number 3. So, what is the required nominal strength of the column for a resistance factor F of 0 0.90? So, 
uh, we have given of uh, resistance factor F of 0 0.90. So our formula is P sub N is equal to our design strength over our resistance factor. So uh, since given naman yung mga ating mga uh, numbers, our design strength is equal to 69.3 kips and then our factor F or the resistance factor F is 0 0.90. So, i-substitute po natin dito sa ating formula. So, makakuha po natin ang 77.03 kips. So, therefore, the required nominal strength of the column for a resistance factor F of 0 0.90 is equal to 77.03 kips. So, yan po. I-substitute na natin. So, madali lang po talaga siya. And then, we will proceed sa ating situation number 4. So, if allowable strength design is used, determine the required load capacity or the required strength to be used in the design of the column. So, which AISC load combination controls? So, since yung uh, answer natin kanina sa letter A, the combination 3 controls, so, ang ating, to get the required strength to be used in the design of the column, gagamitin natin yung formula na, sorry, Formula na P sub A equals D plus, so pili lang sa L sub R or slide load or sa snow load or sa R natin. So pili lang po dyan. So ang napila ko po is our snow load since it is the second highest of the loads given. So D plus S or 30.8 kips plus 19.7 kips is equal to 50.5 so therefore the combination 3 controls and then uh, the required strength is 50.5 kips so lastly sa ating 2-1 the problem 2-1 our situation number 5 uh, what is the required dominant strength of the column for a safety factor of ohms of 1.67 so ang um, ating formula po dito is P sub A is uh, less than or equal to P sub N over ohms. So, uh, para po ma... Ang ating formula is ma... Anong tawag nito? Ma-derive or ma... Iba natin. So, we will uh, multiply or cross-multiply. So, itong P sub A over 1, we multiply sa P sub N and then itong ohms, we multiply to the P sub A. So, makukuha natin is P sub N equals the ohms times the P sub A. So, we will substitute since our ohms are given uh, 1.67 ito po given sa ating situation. And then, our P sub A, nakuha natin kanina sa letter D, dito po, sa ating uh, required strength to be used in the design of the column, substitute lang po natin sa ang P, of, P sub A. And then, when we multiply it, makukuha po natin yung 84.5 34 kips. So therefore, the required nominal strength of the column for a safety factor ohms of 1.67 is equal to the P sub N or equal to 84.34 kips. So yan po yung ating asagot sa ating uh, limang situation sa ating problem 2-1. So we will proceed sa ating problem 2-2. Uh, a column is subjected to the following loads. So, ang following loads natin is yung mga given pa din natin. So, dead load is equal to 26 kips. The occupancy live load is 15 kips. The roof live load is 5 kips. Our snow load is 8 kips. Rain load is 5 kips. And the wind load is 8 kips. So, all loads are compression except for the wind load, which can be either tension or compression. So, medyo... Nadagdagan yung ating mga combination dahil meron tayong nadagdag na wind load at saka yung ating uh, rain load. So, uh, we'll see the situations in this problem 2-2. But before that, as I said earlier, we need to rewrite our given so that mas madali na lang natin mamaya tignan yung ating mga given sa pag-solve ng ating solution. So, ito po yung lahat ng ating mga given, the dead load, occupancy live load, roof live load, snow load, rain load, and excuse me, our wind load. So, letter A in our problem 2-2, 2, 
if load and resistance factor design is used, so we will determine the factor load or the required strength to be used in the design of the column. So which AI AIC load combination controls? So same lang sa kanina, yung ginawa natin sa problem 2-1, uh, we will just um, substitute all the given from combination 1 until magamit natin yung lahat. So same lang combination 1, 1.4D, ayan. So substitute lang ulit, then makuha na natin, substitute, substitute, multiply, then add. And then, ang nadagdag natin dito is meron na tayong combination 4. So, ang combination 4 po natin is 1.2D plus 1.0W. Wind load po natin yung W. So, plus 0.5L plus 0.5S. So, same lang po kanina. Same lang po dito sa taas. Pero na nagdagdag lang natin is yung ating combination 4 at saka 1.0 times W. So, ang ating value po ng ating W or our wind load is 8 kips. So, ayan. Yung substitute 8 kips. So, ah, uh, Titignan po natin dito sa ating mga combinations kung saan po yung highest. So, from combination 1, 36.4, 59.2, 51.5, and then 50.7. So, since the combination 2 is the highest, so therefore, the combination 2 control. So, ganun lang po kadali. Kunin lang po natin yung mga combinations, substitute, multiply, and add, and get the highest. So, that's the combination that controls. So, that's for our letter A. For our letter B, the situation number 2, what is the required design strength of the column? So, same lang po kanina, since uh, factor load is less than or equal to the design strength, so therefore, the required design strength of the column is 59.2 kips. So, since uh, mas malaki talaga yung ating design strength, gagamitin natin yung 59.2 kips dito. Kasi dito po sa ating... Uh, Required design strength. So, yan. Sobrang dali lang po. Same lang yung A at saka B na answers. For our letter C, or the situation number 3. So, what is the required nominal strength of the column for a resistance factor F of 0 0.90? So, same lang kanina. We have our formula. Pn or P sub N equals to the design strength over our resistance factor, which is given dito. 0 0.90 and then kunin natin yung ating uh, design strength kanina with, with which is 59.2 kips. So we will substitute here. So ating pong i-divide and makukuha natin is 65.8 kips. Therefore the required nominal strength of the column for resistance factor of F of 0 0.90 Pn is equal to 77.3. Bakit magkaiba? So, to make sure, we will use our calculator. So, ang ating tamang sagot is 65.8. So, dito tayo nagkamali sa ating uh, conclusion. So, 65.8 kips. Ayan. So, ang ating final answer or our required nominal strength for the column for our resistance factor F of 0 0.90 is equal to the is equal to 65.8 kips. So, let's proceed to the situation number 4 or the letter D. If allowable strength design is used, determine the required load capacity or the required strength to be used in the design of the column, which AI as a load combination controls. So, let us, uh, we have our formula. P sub A is equal to D plus 0 0.75 times 0 0.6 W or wind load plus 0 0.75 times L or 0. Point plus 0 0.75 S. So, isa-substitute po natin lahat ng ating mga given. So, our D is equals to 26, our dead load. So, our wind load is 8. Sorry. And then, our L, our live load is 15. And then, our snow load is 8. And then, after that, we will multiply all with the parenthesis, this, 3. And then, after that, we will... Uh, Add them all. And then, we will get the value of 46.9 kips. So, P sub A is equal to 46.9 kips. So, therefore, the combination 6A controls. So, dahil uh, hindi tayo nakaabot ng combination 6A kanina, so, we will just uh, assume this is as combination 6A that controls. So, lastly, for our uh, problem 2-2. Situation number 5. 
What is the required nominal strength of the column for a safety factor arms of 1.67? Excuse me. So, same lang kanina, we have a uh, formula of P sub A is less than or equal to P sub N over ohms. So, cross multiply and makukha natin yung formula na P sub N equals to ohms times multiplied by P sub A or our value here earlier. So, 1.67 our ohms multiplied to our P sub A, 46.9 pips or 85, uh, we round it off. So, we will get 78.24 kips. So, therefore, the required nominal strength of the column for a safety factor ohms of 1.67 is, o oh, inatype na naman tayo, I'm sorry again. So, we, para po malaman natin, if the value is right, we need to use our calculator. So, our value is 78.24. So, ayan po yung value ng R. Ayan po yung ating required nominal strength for the, of the column for safety factor arms of 1.67. So that's it for our um, problem 2-2. We will proceed to our problem 2-3. So uh, let me read. The loads on a roof beam consist of a dead load of 0.2 kips over feet. So a roof live load of 0.13 kips by feet and a snow load of 0.14 kips by feet. I mean, per feet. Sorry, per feet. So, again, we'll write our given. Dead load is 0.2 kips per feet. Our roof live load, 0.13 kips per feet. Snow load is 0.14 kips per feet. So, let us proceed to our situation number one or letter A. So, if load and resistance factor design is used, determine the factor load or the required strength to be used in the design of this beam. So, which AI SC load combination controls? So, again, we will uh, just use the formulas of the combinations until we get our number. So, we already know the uh, formula of the combination 1, 2, 3. So, we will just uh, substitute all the given so our d is dead load is 0 0.2 we will get 0 0.14 and then everything that we have in the given we will substitute and then after we get all the combinations we will see which combination is the highest fit <coughs> so our highest number is the combination 3 so therefore the combination 3 controls or P sub U is equal to 0 0.64464 kips per feet. So this is our uh, required strength to be used in the design of this beam. So if we proceed to the situation number two of the letter B, or the letter B, if allowable strength design is used, determine the required load capacity required strength to be used in the design of the column. Which AISC load combination controls? So if allowable strength design is used, so we will have P sub A equals D plus S. So our dead load plus our snow load. So since our dead load is 0 0.2, our snow load is 0 0.14. So we will just add both of them and we will get 0 0.34 kips per feet. And so therefore, the required design strength of the column or our design strength is 59. Excuse me. I'm sorry. So there you have it. So, for our number 2-4, so beams will be designed for the roof and floor systems of an office building. The loads for these systems are as follows. So, these are the given for the roof. Dead load is equal to 30 PSF. Roof live load is equal to 20. Snow load is equal to 21. And the rain load consisting of 4 inches of water. For our floor, the given are dead load, 62 PSF. And the occupancy live load, 80 PSF. So, for our letter A or our... Um, we will get our LR, FD or our load and resistance factor design. So these are the given for the roof. And then for each of the system, determine the required factor load capacity or LR, FD, which load combination controls. So we have uh, three combinations. So just like uh, from the one, two, three, we just need to substitute all the given and then see for the highest 
a value. So if we start, if we stop at a combination three, then it means that a combination four is lower than combination three. So our therefore, the combination three controls equals to p sub u equals to sixty nine point six psf. So that is for our roof. So the LFRD of our floor, and uh, only two combinations. So uh, therefore, the combination two controls because it has the highest amount if we substitute all the given numbers so for our asd or al or our allowable strength design uh, we will get the combination three controls or d plus s equals 30 plus 21 so it equals to 51 psf and for the floor we will get the combination two controls so d plus l equals 62 plus 82 so we have 142 psf so that's the problem 2-4, so it's very easy for the problem 2-5. Structural steel buildings frequently are designed with diagonal bracing systems to resist lateral loads. Horizontal forces resulting from wind or earthquake loadings. A certain bracing system is subjected to the following load. So these are the given. Dead load 13.3 kips, occupancy live load 6.9 kips, Roof live load 1.3 kips, snow load equal to 1.3 kips, our wind load is 150.6 kips, and earthquake load is 161.1 kips. So these are the given. So we will write it so we will not get confused when we start our solution. So as you can see, we have five combinations. So it means that uh, the sixth combination is lower than the fifth combination. So if we look at it, uh, we can see that the highest amount ha is in the combination 5. So therefore, the combination 5 controls. So uh, P sub U is equal to 180.8 kips. So uh, that this is for the LRFD or the load and resistance factor design. So we will get the allowable strength design. So if combination 5 controls, so D plus minus 0.6 W or the wind load or 0.7 E or the earthquake load is equal to 13.3 plus 0.7 times 161.1 is equal to 126 kips. So that is our ASD or the P sub A 126 kips. So that is all for our video today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is again Thomas Joshua B. Quinones, a third year student of Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering from USM. So this again is the concepts in structural steel design. Thank you and God bless you.